Hello, my name is Chatelier, and welcome back to another episode of Valhalla Vanguard in Aurora Forex. And in previous episode, or past uh, couple of episodes, we've been fighting over here in Ladur at the jump point. And we've lost one fighter got destroyed. One fighter is... Uh, we're currently trying to go in and save it. Hopefully we can do that. Or we'll manage to do that. And we still destroy another ship over there. Let's actually set up the... Was it 18 twos? Yeah, these need to start firing on the run through. Assuming that works. Yes, it does. Right. So we'll start firing on the run through now. We're a huge amount of uh, gauss cannonry, and we're not even using all of our capacity. We're saving some so that if and when they shoot missiles at us, we can still shoot down the missiles without a problem. Now, they might start shooting at us with their particle beams now, since we are rather close. Oh, well, Ranstrow has been... Uh, destroyed now. Excellent. Now, I have a feeling that those are starting to be a bit too far away. For our beam weaponry, but that's fine by me. So let's uh, take you. You can start firing on whatever is the closest one. And then the Athians. I'll just clear the targets. You don't need to be firing on anything. I know it doesn't have any... So oh, right, so we need to clear out these. Right. Well, do that real quick. Just so that it's not complaining that I cannot find targets. And that's going to flood the event tab. So apologies, but this will take a few moments. But so far, so good. Once we've picked up the fighter, we'll probably send all the fighters back into there. Well, actually, we might be able to send the group of Ansangs that we have currently over here back out to go pursue some of the enemy ships there, because they should not have vision, or at least not very good vision on us anymore. Hold on. Did we... Okay, we're gonna copy the assignments there, because it seems to have uh, gotten rid of those. Okay, but now they don't have any targets, that's good. And we just need to clear all these. Right, so... What I think we need to do is if we go over here, so Rommel One, you can launch them, and then we can send in the fleet once more. Let's see if we pull that to the side real quick and focus over there. We're going to go in and start firing upon one of those uh, further partridge. Probably going to take a few moments before we actually reach there, but we should have the range, <laughs> without a doubt, to actually do that. So, enemy contact. That's a lot of hits there that we got. Fellow at 20,000. Sounds so like a reasonable thing to do. And... Oh, they re did refuel once they went back to the carrier, or the fleet at least. Also, could you act it? Right, put you act it on, excellent. And... is that? That might be good enough. We just need to set up the target again. For the unsings here. You're going to start firing upon the... 
I suppose we'll start firing on the number seven over there. Right, in the meanwhile, let's take a, another turn here. We've used a fair bit of time on this episode already doing nothing too important. Got some hits over there with our lasers. Not sure if it's going to be enough, to be fair. But there's one escaping over there. There's quite a few moving out over here. Now, if we can catch them up with our fighters, because the fighters don't have a huge range. But that should be still within the range that they have. I think. But we'll go another turn. I mean, we did a little bit of damage there. Oh, and spike one and two cannot... Oh, right, yeah, that's true, that's true. Run through has been destroyed, so we'll assign that target for you. And maybe for you... Assign the number six or... Well, we'll assign the number seven, actually. It's going to take a while before you are ready to fire, anyway. Right, this is, uh, strike force hasn't, or the fighters haven't left quite yet, but they should soon. Uh, we'll be reaching the fighter over there. Hold on, incorporate. Does it have the? No, not quite yet. Uh, at least not by the looks of it. Well, they should technically be within the same location, so if we have a look at the ship itself... You can now land. At least in theory. Or, Rommel 1, you can recover. So is that now... I don't know. It doesn't have a range because it doesn't have an engine anymore. Uh, yeah, majority of the armor was destroyed as well. Okay. Let's see. It's still on a separate fleet, so what we'll probably have to do... ...is you're gonna have to absorb that one. So it's part of the same fleet, so we can actually do the orders again. In the meanwhile... Let's uh, zoom out a little bit so we can keep on track on the enemy. That one's trying to escape, but it's taking a fair bit of damage. And it's still taking a fair bit of damage. I mean, uh, very low damage right now, but... Did we... Just looking at the event log here. It doesn't say anything about absorbing the bleed yet. But it probably did. No, it's probably waiting for the order, never mind. Just waiting for the fighters to actually do what they need to do. Which is catch up with the enemy. There's a few hits that we got into the enemy there. But the distance is starting to be rather substantial. So we're doing minimum damage pretty much. Okay, the fighters have set up. And three hits from Mezens, I believe. Yep. Wait, are they still assigned as their target? No. Oh no, that wasn't messing, that was lasers. Well, that makes more sense then. And... Still haven't uh, incorporated the fleet. Waiting for orders. Now we're doing damage with the mesons. 
Excellent. And now we got the orders completed. So we should be able to... Let's actually see. So if we have Rommel 1, recover your vessels. So you got one unsunk there, excellent, that worked. Right, now then what we're going to do is strike force 1. We're going to detach your... That's the Athean 6. Just making sure that we're picking up the right... Yeah, you've taken a fair bit of damage. So Athean 6, we're going to detach you. What you're going to do is you're going to go through the life pods. First the Onsung, rescue survivors. And then... Let's actually have a look. Which one would be the closest one? Let's actually pull that all the way to the side there and zoom in a little bit. I think we'll do the barges over there then run through a support chest. That would probably be the best. So, rescue survivors. Rescue survivors. Run through rescue survivors and then... Rescue these. So far we haven't taken too much damage. I mean, okay, two of our point defense ships took a fair bit of beating at the start of the battle. And then we lost one fighter, another one will need a repair. But it's not too bad. Right, then also standard transit. Go to Njord. Unload survivors. I think. We could do replacement crew if we wanted to, but I don't think we really need to. What we're going to do after that is uh, move back to the Strike Force 2 and join. Because that should work. Right, in the meanwhile, let's uh, keep on going. Oh, there's missiles coming in. And we are on the move. Oh, right, that's the point of ship, actually. So there would be one initial weapon impact over there from lasers. And then there's oh, more missiles flying in. These are taking hits from our... Heading? Choose. Okay, so we don't actually know where they are heading right now because they just appeared, but we are seeing some of their missiles. And we are already shooting some of the anti-missile missiles. And over here... So we got three hits from Mesons, so all of the fighters hit. That's good. We're firing on the Barshit 7. By the looks of it, no secondary explosions yet. Let's have a look. Nuclear detonation, so we shot down those missiles. Nuclear detonation, so there's still a few missiles coming in. Not too much. We're gathering up a lot of the survivors there. Have we? Mm hmm. Let's actually have a look. Did we get any information about the survivors? Hundred and one alien survivors from the Barshit class. Uh, Seventy-five from the other one. Okay, so it's going to be rather crowded, that's for sure. And... Yeah, our anti-missile missiles are doing a decent job. Shooting down the enemy missiles from afar. Now, has the... Oh right, we didn't give the strike force any orders, did we? Nope. Not yet. Well... Not task groups, contacts. Barge number six, for example. Fellow from. Can we see how quick those missiles are? 10,000 per second. If we say 75. Let's go for 80,000 kilometers. 
So we'll be within laser reach, but we should have enough time to spot the enemy missiles. More or less, at least. Right. In the meanwhile, our fighter is doing a decent job harassing the enemy ships there. Another three hits there. The missiles are moving in. And that one's taking a few more hits from our lasers. Our nuclear detonation over there. There's quite a few missiles coming in though, which is slightly concerning. And how many did we rescue from the... 143 from the bigger ship. That's interesting. Nuclear detonation seven times over there. Any weapon strength over there, so we did shoot down all the missiles. And another few energy weapon hits over there. Also harassing the enemy ships here. Still nothing too important by the looks of it has happened there. I'm probably shooting down a little bit at the all damaging the engines and such. So just three of these fighters, not necessarily all that efficient, but they are very good at harassing the enemy because they are so small that I don't think they can really see them. Not efficiently anyway. Initial weapon impacts, nuclear detonation strength one, then initial weapon impacts over there, another three hits over there. That's good. We haven't still started moving towards here, but we will soon start and I think Let's have a look. Weapon reloading... There's still a lot of time until we start firing our missiles. Which is a bit of a weakness for us. Now we've now rescued the... Oh! Oh, hold on. Let's have a look at the intelligence update set. Did we get any more? We just rescued another 77 from the Sepultura. And over here we rescued another 77. Successful espionage. Miranda class. Okay, let's have a look at that. So, Miranda class uh, ship summary. Almost 70,000 tons. It's jump escort cruiser. That's a decent jump drive. Uh, quite a few engines, but not in too bad. It's a military vessel. Twin Ghost Cannon Radar Fire 1. So it's twin turret. And hit charge is 100%. But they are rather large. Tracking speed is 5,000 km per second. It's not terrible, I suppose. And then active sensor strength. Okay, so the resolution 1. A decent uh, range, I suppose. Three million kilometers. It has some thermal sensor capabilities. And fire control, max range is 20,000, tracking speed 5,000. Okay. 5,000 tracking speed, that's not very much for anti missile duty. We haven't seen any of them yet, but we know that they have these, and they don't have a huge range. At the same time, the fuel usage is rather large. Right, well, let's uh, keep on moving. So, Atheon number 6 is moving out already. We had one miss over there, and three hits over there, so five hits altogether on these two battles here, or, well... I wouldn't really say battles. Oh, right, Anne. I see the problem. Strike Force is currently set on a very low speed. How about we set up max speed? There we go. That should give us a little bit of speed. And the enemy is moving away, and we're starting to get more hits on them. Over here, another three hits with the fighters. Let's have a look at the. Squadrons a little bit. Still have very much fuel. Barely used any. That's fine by me though. Well, we're taking very low 
all the small increments here. Did you lose your... No. You don't have your active sensors. Oh, wait a minute, these don't have active sensors. But why do you... Since these had active sensors on, oh well. I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? They are within the center range of the carrier and all the other ships, really. Oh, I think we've started uh, damaging the engine on the enemy ship here that we've been firing on. We're dodging the enemy ships here, <laughs> back and forth. Over here, so they are moving in towards us. We're starting getting more hits. And yeah, the missions are starting to do internal damage on the enemy ship here. Oh. Okay, so we got hits there. And over here we got secondary power system explosion strength 8, secondary magazine explosion strength 11, and then some energy weapon impacts there. Okay, so <laughs> the bar giant 7 is... Uh, Taking a fair bit of beating here now. Because that's still pretty far away. Once we clear out this, we'll send in the salvage uh, ships to clear out all of this to get some sweet, sweet resources. But we'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, they have lost a lot of their engine power there with that ship. And over here, oh, we destroyed the barge that was over here. Excellent. That was a decent bit of energy weapon hits there. Strength 1 once, then strength 4 three times, and strength 6 once. So that was pretty much max damage. Right, so we need to give another target for the cruiser, I suppose, and probably some other ships, actually. But, I mean, the other ships are not ready to fire anyway, so... Okay, that would be too far away. Let's add in the Archie 5 as the target now. And let's go quickly through the spikes. So, you got Party 6, that's still alive. Sepulcher 2 is no longer alive, so we'll assign the Party 2 as your target. Then you got Bartit 4, which is no longer alive, so I suppose we'll give you the number... Um, number 5. Assuming that we'll ever get to shoot it, because uh, the reload times are still rather high. We've only spent like 200 seconds since we shot with the Spike 2Bs. You already got your target, and uh, you already got your target, okay. Well, let's keep on going. I have a feeling... Oh, There's the laser hits. Two of them very low damage, because it's pretty far away, but that's fine. And there's that one that's trying to escape, but it's probably not going to get very far. Well, let's give it another tick. That took another three hits. We got another four hits over here, plus one bigger hit. That's good. But so far, so good. Another two hits over there from the Messens. It still has an engine, and I think it's trying to. Oh, right. We're trying to keep a distance from the enemy by the looks of it. I think. So we're kind of uh, moving away from the enemy ship there. But what we're basically doing is we're moving a little bit closer, shooting and then moving out, I think, or something like that. Because we did have this range set up as 80,000. 
So there was one hit over there, and two hits over there. Take one more turn. Okay, three more hits there. And four more hits there. Nothing too bad, but we seem to be out of time for, for this episode already. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.